Hey guys, real quick, uh, just wanted to give you a little update. This is our first CNC EDM. Uh, looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, don't mind the all over the place. That was me. I ended up messing up and having to restart this, and it just it didn't hold tight for me. Uh, anyway, a few things. This circle, I don't know the diameter. Uh, I told you one of the next thing I wanted to do was get the, the CNC working tight and unfortunately it's giving me an absolute fit. Uh, I'm not sure why or what's going on but I'll get to the bottom of it probably this weekend. Um, one, of the, well, one of the problems was it was on metric and I didn't know it so of course after I, I do all the dimensions and measurements in inches and I went to run a program obviously it didn't jive so uh, but I, I figured that out, but then still there was there was issues. So uh, I'm working on that. And for this, I used a copper rod, um, well, bar, a copper bar, just a very small diameter. It's actually a copper wire that I cut off of a heavy gauge uh, spool. And uh, it worked good, but I think the arc was a little more violent than it should have been and uh, it seemed to work better with brass now I'm thinking as you can see in one of the videos I, I'm, I'm gonna post the voltage on the voltmeter was about 160 I think that's too much uh, I'm not again I'm not entirely sure this is all trial and error but I got this here this transformer this is out of a arc welder this is the primary, this is the secondary. I think it's about 40-ish volts. Obviously you can tell by the diameter of that copper, it's it's got some good uh, amperage to it. I'm thinking a lower voltage, higher current might be better for maintaining an arc. But again, this is trial and error. I don't know. Um, I know one of the other problems I'm having is the water is getting very filthy very fast I mean after a couple of seconds it's already looking like grape kool-aid and um, I know that's unfortunately working against me I've got to come up with some kind of filtration system or replenishing system my, my whole purpose of using tap water was to try to run it through where I could have fresh water always coming in and the old stuff always going out you know, that way I don't have to worry about a filtering system. Uh, ultimately, I should be using like an oil. And I'm, I'm really trying to avoid it. it. Of course, if I have to, I will. I'll deal with it when the time comes. But for now, I'm trying to do all this with tap water. Because that'll make my life easier in the long run. You know, especially doing... You know, some of these runs are probably going to take a day, you know, two, three days. They're gonna, this machine will be running to do some of these big parts. And the amount of uh, crud that's going to get in this tank, crud for, you know, lack of the word I'm missing at the moment, uh, swarf, that's it. Uh, the amount of swarf that, you know, would be essentially going into this is insane. So, <clears throat> if I can get it where I'm just constantly pushing new stuff in, old stuff out, you know, we'll be good to go. Um, I think that's almost it. Uh, program Mach 3 ran great. No, screensaver mode. Uh, but yeah, um, that's about it. This was one of the first attempts manually. I was just pushing the machine back and forth to see if the CNC would work. This is a stainless tag. I mean, I didn't do this for a long time. This was just for, you know, a couple seconds. And, uh, again, the bed isn't level. So, I've got I've got a lot of work ahead of me that i got to get to. Oh, and another thing I'd like to do is I'm going to put a, a resistor in the, in, the, in the box. That way, it discharges the capacitors because, you know, 160 volts, granted it's DC, so it's not horrific. I mean, it'd be worse if it was AC, but 
I still I want to try to discharge it after I shut the switch off, even if it takes a couple seconds, just for safety's sake. Uh, I don't want to have to remember it every time, because I know sooner or later, you know, I'm just going to shock myself. It, it's obvious. I know it's going to happen anyway, but obviously, you just try to prevent it. But uh, all right, guys. Well, that's it. Just wanted to show you the uh, the EDM part. This is. First CNC EDM to part, and uh, like I said, I like it. I think it came out pretty good. Got a lot more work to do, but all right, guys. Catch you later. See the outline of the circle it's making, but it's working. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you. Just repeating the program. 
basically do a circle, go down a little bit, do a circle, go down, do a circle, that's it.